It's uh, 23 minutes to 7. An advertising campaign to tackle Islamophobia is being unveiled on buses across the UK. The posters are designed to educate people about Islam. They'll feature the phrase Muslims for loyalty, peace and freedom. Well, the group behind the campaign is the Ahmadiyya Muslim Association, which says it wants to tackle the general anti-Islamic sentiment, which it says has emerged since September the 11th, 2001. And their spokesman, Nasir Dean, is with us now. Good morning. Good morning. How deeply ingrained do you think fear of Islam, Islamophobia or hostility towards Muslims is in Britain today? I mean a number of independent surveys have highlighted that and that's concerned the, the leadership of our community. So the head of our community, Hazrat Mizza Masur Ahmad, instructed our community to do an, our own survey and we also found that it was deeply ingrained. Over 60% of the respondents had no knowledge of Islam and associated it with terrorism. Mm. So do you think a lot of, well, they associated with terrorism because of a series of Pretty awful yeah, events, right. yeah. Uh, yeah. 2001, yeah. September the 11th, 7th of July bombings here, the Madrid bombings, the Mumbai attacks, and also, as you said, because there's, they, is it ignorance? It opinion? is ignorance in, in some ways, and also the minority of extremists that have created this, uh, this environment, uh, and, the, and the majority, unfortunately, have not really spoken out very loudly. So we felt as a community that we should have a campaign, and after our surveys, that this was needed. And we, we started with a pilot campaign last, last year in London, and uh, we found that members of our community in thousands came out and they have delivered to 1.3 million homes, majority in London, mm. this leaflet which explains the, the, the peaceful teachings of Islam. Well, what are the peaceful teachings of Islam then for people who don't know? Well, basically one should be loyal to the country one lives in, one should believe in freedom, the rights of equality of all, respect all, all faiths, all people, and, and live in peace with, with, with mankind and with oneself. Do you think a leaflet campaign and um, putting posters on buses is really going to change attitudes in general? It's just we have to strive towards peace, and it, it, it's a long process, and we understand that. So this is just one of the aspects. We have, we're holding exhibitions throughout the UK in villages and cities. We've got peace symposiums. We had our national peace symposium last week in London, where we had members of the general public and dignitaries from all of the UK attend. And we're holding, uh, we've got billboards going up, and in newspapers are putting adverts. So we're trying our best. So it's the first step in a long process. It's the first process. step in a long process. That's all right, Nasir Dean, thanks very much. Great, thank you.